Tracy Ford at the corner. Those two uh, older players replaced a couple of true freshmen who have started in recent weeks. Here's Kemp with the quick pass out. He's got it to Gilbert. Ford comes off his man and makes the first hit, and the Vikings wrap him up. Schumann in high school split wide that way. They'll send Lloyd in motion, fake the handoff. Kemp now on the roll, throws the ball on the out pattern. Got the catch on the play by Everett, and he curls back to the 41-yard line at the 40. Kemp, the quarterback, out of the gun. Roll to the left. Now they come with the reverse play, and the Vikings are caught completely off guard. It's Everett to the near sideline, and he's got a first down before running through the formation in a reverse situation. Didn't get the ball the first two times, but this time the Vikings believe he won't get it again. They go right. He goes left and a lot of running room. Leased him and then took the little screen pass for the first down. Here's quarterback. They throw it back to Everett to the near side. He jumps through a hole and takes it down for about a nine-yard pickup to the 12-yard line. Brown in there for the stop along with Shoemaker. And Everett Gilbert, very dangerous, has the ball down to the 14. There's the score. Given on the PA system here at Portland State, 31 to 14, Stanford. Eden's the quarterback. Here's the end around play to Gilbert. He's got room to the near side. He's got room to the touchdown. So Gilbert on the end around takes it 26 yards. The true freshman out of Rockwell, Texas, and the Bobcats having their way in the first half, up 27 to nothing. That was just speed, Mike. Seen him running twice. In Montana State, six different players with running plays already in this one. 125 yards on the ground. How did he get the last nine yards? He disappeared into a mass of humanity. And it just how does he get through and get those yards? The outstanding true freshman for the Bobcats, deep to return the kick, and we are underway. Gilbert takes it out from one yard deep, hits a crease, and returns it out across the... You buy Allegiance Benefit Plan Management, your benefits at work. We mentioned Gilbert, the true freshman, the leading receiver, joined by Elvis Akla and Julius Lloyd, born in Senegal. Lived there till he was eight. He's fluent in both French and Spanish. And here's the screen for Everett Gilbert. And he picks up another three. And then he can do it rushing the football, obviously receiving the football, returning the football. So Montana State doing a nice job. But look at the blocking on the perimeter. Uh, Schillinger, Schillinger's not blocked right there at the top of that. There's Bo Donaldson flagged for the face mask, pulling on the grill of Jordan Craney. And here's Gilbert trying to get the corner and not much there. Well, there's a different Green with the catch to set up second and five. Kemp, here's the wide receiver screen to Gilbert, who picks up a block and gets it out to the 29-yard line. The field position battle and give that defensive front a rest. Again, coming up near the end of the game, we'll present the Northwestern Energy players of the game. Northwestern Energy delivering a bright future. Everett Gilbert. Spins out of a tackle before he is met at the... Now you can kind of see the table starting to turn a little bit. Montana knows they're getting things going. They're starting to feel very good about how they're playing. And you can see most of the excitement is on the Grizzly sideline and on the Grizzly side of things. There's Gilbert getting the handoff, tackled by Caleb McSurdy. Yeah, the, the Grizzlies have done a really nice job with Everett Gilbert today, a better job than people have done throughout the year. The Bobcats have talked about, they sit around on Sundays, Coach Ash and his staff trying to figure out ways to get this guy the ball because it is hard to see that backside crosser because he's out of your vision so much of the play. Kemp for Gilbert. And not much there as Swink comes up to make the stop. A pickup of one for Gilbert will bring up third and nine. Just good fundamental defensive play. George Mercer out of Libby High School, the defensive end, does a nice job really of, of just stringing it out right here and diving. But you see the corner, Andrew Swink, outside linebacker Josh Stuberg, just a nice job of, of staying home and playing good fundamental sound football on the defensive side. Five receivers split wide for Kemp. Empty backfield on third and nine. Forced to get rid of it and does. 
The completion is good to Gilbert, but he is tackled well short of the first down marker, and once again, the Bobcats will be forced to punt. Well, there you see it again, coming up a little bit short on third down. This is, you said, empty backfield. He's got to get this ball delivered quickly, hoping that Gilbert can make on but MSU so far unable to capitalize. There's your scoring drive, brought to you by MontanaGrizzlies.com, as Gilbert makes the catch for first down yardage in Montana territory. Well, there's first down number one of the second half. The senior captain out of Baker with the play in the secondary, but here's Gilbert with a catch for first down yardage, tackled inside the Montana 25. 